you are not gonna believe me i just possess the 38 imagery just on github using github actions the important thing is it's free yes you heard it right it's completely free and it's possible to run the parallel processing in github by without downloading any gis software so if you want to know how did i do that then watch this video till the end so let's get started all right so in order to process the imagery i'm going to use this repo uh, it's under my username of course it's forked from uwe science uh, scipy 2024 github action tutorial and since i recently attended the sci-fi conference uh, so this workflow was uh, like touched in that conference and big shout out to valentina queen and scott so those are the people who wrote this workflow and this processing um, python code so i'm simply going to run this code and then show you how to run and how what are the possibilities of github actions so before starting this tutorial i also want to highlight uh, this repo geo yes in c so simply this is the insar processing uh, short course so i found the github repo and then basically uh, they are using the auto rift software to map the glacier velocity using temporal temporal matching so basically uh, the same notebook over here gla glacier image correlation so inside which we will see the similar code here we we need to like download the code and then we we use like uh, normalize cross correlation to measure the velocity uh, so simply to measure the changes between two image pair and then uh, com by comparing those pairs in the multi-temporal series so we got the uh, temporal changes map so basically we are going to generate output something like this so this is the one of the reason in nepal uh, with the glacier with covered by glacier and here uh, this different color represent the velocity of like movement of glacier within that glacier location so basically uh, the velocity is taken the median value and then velocity standard deviation it uh, determine the error in each pixel and then the valid pixel count of course not all the pixel has the values of course uh, some of the pixel might be like blank due to cloud coverage or due to like the error in the processing step so yeah basically uh, that's why we, we we take the median value and then this is the like valid pixel count so we are going to generate this similar result and yeah i'm not going to explain everything from this notebook you can check it in the free time i'll i'll share the link in the video description below uh, so basically here uh, first of all let me show you the uh, process so the thing is uh, here we have like the workflow like this so first of all we'll search for the image best images uh, based on the selection of month and then uh, using matrix file which is the kind of like github action processing thing so we parallelly submit those jobs into the uh, into the process and then it will generate the velocity between two consecutive images for example i'll get the image from 2018 uh, january and then uh, it will compare with the 2018 february and then uh, based on the similarity and dissimilarity it will calculate the velocity using auto rift software and then after that uh, we, we get the like velocity from between two consecutive month for the like up to whatever year we select and then we take the like um, median velocity and then we also do the summary statistic as a like uh, standard deviation and then the valid pixel count 
so basically uh, in order to do that so as i said before we are going to use the auto rip software and then we are going to use the band nir band and uh, yeah this is this simple example of the like location for example this is from uh, six month uh, 29 and then this is from nine month 22 and then there are some changes and based on those changes it will determine the velocity of course for the comparison we can uh, we we are going to choose the first, uh, one fair con comparison that means it will take the one imagery before and then another imagery after i mean the month in consecutive uh, order for example uh, one month in january to february february to march march to april on a way and if we choose two pair or three pair what it will do is it will compare the january image with february and then again january image with uh, march so that means uh, we have multiple lots of combination right so yeah after that as i said before we are going to generate this summary statistic so yeah again big shout out to the queen who, who was the author of this repo author of this glacier image correlation section so basically uh, i'll show you the script uh, just quickly so here we are taking the uh, four uh, inputs which is cloud cover start month stop month and then end pairs of course end pair will be one and then these are the variables of course you can select and then uh, if you want to run this for the other uh, location I definitely uh, recommend you to change this bounding box so simply replace this bounding box with your one so that can be possible with like geojson.io website for example I am right here and then I can zoom to the any locations and then uh, the thing what you need to do is like simply select the location whatever interest you for example if you are interested in this location and then simply draw a polygon and then simply you need to like uh, copy this coordinate so simply copy this and then uh, paste it in the script over here uh, in the coordinate section of course so yeah that's why you can replace the coordinate that means you can replace the spatial location uh, of your processing uh, processing area right and then uh, you need to provide the url of course this url is from stack so of course uh, it's the stack api from here we can simply download the product so we are searching uh, the sentinel 2 l2a product from this catalog and then we filtered it by the cloud cover and then we add that item to the uh, item collection and then we stack all the satellite imagery into the x array data set and uh, yeah and and after that we create some sort of like matrix json uh, based on our image one and image two pair and then we have also short name so basically uh, the output from this uh, particular script will be the matrix uh, parameter combination and then the image dates uh, so yeah that's all and after that uh, we are going to run this uh, this image correlation uh, notebook i mean the python file so here we are simply downloading that selected imagery of course our imagery product one and two are coming from source result and then uh, yeah we, we do some processing and then the uh, interesting part is over here ma the major processing part uh, run auto rift all right so using this auto rift script so we are uh, setting up few things uh, these are quite detailed i mean these are described over here so basically if you want to know more detail about auto rift software then simply uh, read this notebook I'll, I'll provide the link in the video description as well so basically we are like setting our exam, uh, imagery and then sampling over sampling method and then 
also we are adding search criteria and then saving our result as a grid so basically that what happening over here and then after that so simply uh, we pre-process to pre-process field lab so this function will simply pre-process with laplacian filter and then we set the uniform data type and after that we run this auto rift software basically after running this uh, you will get the like dx and dy parameter and then uh, we are adding like dxm and dxy which is the like velocity in x direction and y direction um, to like multiply it to the 10 so that we get the displacement in meter and then simply to we are going to like process the output so in order to process it so simply we are like performing some sort of interpolation uh, to fill the gaps and then we uh, simply assign those uh, i mean we simply load that into the dx dy dxm and dym values and then we got the velocity in x direction and velocity in y direction simply applying the formula uh, based on distance and then we got the velocity horizontal of course it will be square root of x square plus y square and after that uh, we simply like again uh, if you want to test it in your own area of interest don't forget to change the coordinate uh, in the two place of course uh, one in image codelation.py and another one in uh, image source.py file and then after that we run the auto drift and then pre-process output and then we rasterize it uh, to the like this file format as two and then product name product name uh, basically those are the date and then horizontal velocity dot tiff sorry uh, i'm moving very quickly uh, because i just want to show you like how to run these things so i hopefully uh, you are getting what i'm explaining a little bit so the thing is over here we are trying to read uh, geotiff as a x array and then we combine df and then stack it into the one uh, x array format and then we also add the coordinates uh, assigned coordinate uh, which is dates of course start date in date and then the baseline and uh, after that we simply like uh, take the like horizontal velocity and then take the median value of that based on uh, dates dimension and then we calculate the standard deviation and we also calculate the number of palette pixels and then we plot the result using matplotlib i think it's matplotlib or seaborn so yeah so that's what happening over here but uh, simply this is just the script right so which is inside glacier image correlation of course uh, it's just the script and inside environment.yml file we have all the dependencies so in order to like run these tools we have this sort of dependencies and yeah this is simply the script right so in order to run it in the uh, using github copa github uh, actions so simply you need this kind of yml file inside github slash workflows and then here i have image correlation pair uh, yml file so basically it will run and then it will uh, simply process our imagery so here uh, we are setting name and then run name and here uh, we we are setting this workflow um, whenever we click run then it will only run uh, this workflow dispatch means that and then of course in the input as i said before we are passing image one product name image two product name and then the workflow name and uh i think yeah yeah and then the workflow call so simply this is the uh, this is to solve this issue discuss here and then simply we are running this auto rift uh, software over here and then the step will be we are checking out the action and then we install all the dependencies uh, using a micro mamba and after that we 
we modify the auto drift package uh, there seems to have some issue with the numpy and after that we download the data and run auto drift of course we use image correlation.py file and then uh, we save those all output as an artifact so in the github actions actually those uh, generated output in order to save those output we use this action upload artifact uh, action and then after that our product will be saved uh, inside this path okay so that's the workflow one and of course uh, here i have like create sorry not the, this one and this batch image correlation on yml file so simply this uh this github action what it will do is it will also run based on the dispatch and then it has input as i mentioned before uh so which is cloud cover start month stop month and then and pairs and after that we have some jobs as to search uh, it's searching the image to search the image and of course we are running this script over here so simply we are passing this uh, inputs uh, is a uh, like parameter and after that we are running auto rift software based on our this uh, yml file image correlation pair yml and then uh, it, it run in the matrix so simply as i said before so as to source it will generate the matrix and then we are using those matrix and then running it parallelly using this matrix command uh, in the github action and then yeah and then after that we are like running the summary statistic of course to run the summary statistic we need to run first as to source and auto rift command and um, after that our some our this uh, summary product will be saved uh, as an artifact in the github so yeah basically that's all about this notebook so simply in order to run this action maybe you might not see anything over here so basically in order to run this so simply you need to click on the uh, whatever the uh, action you want to run and then simply i will uh, say run workflow and of course cloud cover less than 10 percent i need and then starting month maybe uh maybe from like 7 to maybe 12 and the number of pair as i said before i am going to select one and then if i run it so simply in order to see this so you just need to refresh uh, refresh the website and then you will see this uh, this action which is running over here and of course uh, it will go one by one as i said before so it will source the imagery first and of course you can see all the like uh, all the progress uh, over here as well right and then after that uh, after like searching for the image it will pass to the uh, matrix uh, which is auto rift command and using auto rift will have the different kind of jobs and then uh, the jobs uh, will like calculate the horizontal velocity and then we uh, create the summary statistic so that's how it does and the thing is like uh, in the github so simply we are running multiple jobs at the same time we are using parallel processing so you can see it here so there are like 14 jobs it's running currently and yeah so yeah so if you're like uh, running this job you will see some sort of like uh, artifacts and i'm going to show you um, in a bit in a few minutes so all right so it took me only four minutes seven seconds to run all the processing so you can see it here uh, uh, so it's already done right so if i click here then i can see i have like 15 artifact of course 14 velocity map which are generated uh, from like uh, my python code so of course you can download and check those imagery so simply those will be tiff file i think and then uh, you have the summary statistic of course i'm downloading right here and 
let me show you how it looks like so this is the currently like downloaded file so if i'm going to extract it and then i'm going to show you the uh, output summary graph so basically this is the summary graph as i said you uh, as, as i showed you before so this is the like median velocity and then velocity standard deviation and then pixel count of course uh, this this uh, this yellow color area is moving rapidly in compared to this black color uh, and then this pink color is also like the moving uh, moving slowly so this is my map and then of course uh, we also downloaded the like tip file let me extract it all right now it's extracted and then load it in qgis and then this is the map so let me load the open street map as well uh, so as i said before so this is some part of like nepal of course you can select any area uh, since this is the like uh, this general workflow represent the like velocity of movement of glacier so basically you can uh, you can like pass any area near the glacier and here we can see that uh, in this particular month starting from 2018 10 to 2019 11 so we have some sort of velocity change and it ranges from 0 to 13 1300 and then there are few null value as well uh, maybe due to a cloud coverage or uh, due to like uh, some sort of problem in the methodology all right so yeah so that's all about this video uh yeah it's the simple like demo showing like how to run the github actions and then uh, run your any any sort of like uh, workflow so that you can like you don't need to install any kind of gis software and then process your output if you have the python code or any sort of script then definitely you can run that on the uh, github actions and then you can utilize the parallel processing as well and uh, yeah this is simply the example of course in this video i haven't went to in depth so if you want to like explore more then i highly recommend you to like check uh, this sorry this uh, notebook and also uh, if you want to learn more i definitely recommend you to uh, like uh, contact this author palentina queen and scott big shout out to them and uh, the scipy 2024 conference where I learn this step. So I'm simply using their script and then showing you how to run the uh, GitHub actions for a scientific workflow. So yeah, basically in few days, uh, the actual workshop tutorial might also release on YouTube. If that release, then I'll also add that in my uh, video description below. So don't forget to check that and yeah that's all about like uh, parallel processing in uh, parallel processing in github so yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching